What's up, YouTube? Staff 44 coming in with another video. You have to accept the negative before you can become positive in your life. Before I get started, I want to get a shout out to all my new subscribers, all my regular subscribers, and if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscription button in the corner of your screen, and hit that notification bell as well, and you get all my videos sent straight to your phone or your device as soon as I put one up on YouTube. But let's get right into this video. You have to accept the negative before you become positive in your life. You know, at the end of the day, guys, you know, life is like a box of chocolates, just like Forrest Gump said. You know, you never know what you're going to get. But you have to be strong enough and willing to accept negative results in life to have positive outcomes. You know, yesterday I had a subscriber hit me up, and he basically, you know, left in the comment section of my last video of what he was going through with his girlfriend and what he, you know, going through in life, period. And he hit me up and got a little bit more deeper on the email. But at the end of the day, that is always the first step of a change is when you accept what was negative in your past and you change your future. You know, I have to look at your life and I will say, look at everybody's life is like a battery. You know, if you look at a battery, a battery that's in your, in your um, remote control, in your car or whatever, it has a positive source to it and it has a negative source to it. And a battery is built with cells, just like the human body. We have cells in our body that, that if our cells don't reproduce and grow stronger and they die, we die. And at the end of the day, you have negative energy and you have positive energy that you choose to deal with in life. And you go through something in life, you have to accept that negative to have a positive outcome to to better yourself, to control your environment, to control your situation. You know, sometimes in life we come to a four-way stop. And what I mean by that, if you go to a four-way stop, you're going right, left, or keep straight. And you have to choose the road you go down because at a four-way, <clears throat> excuse me, at a four-way stop, you definitely, definitely can't go in reverse. So you have to choose that, hey, I got to pick a path where I want to go down and what don't kill you make you stronger. And God won't give you nothing that you can't handle because he builds you guys. So remember, at the end of the day, we have to get on our, you know, get on our, um, our plan, our purpose, our program. Understanding who we are as a person. Understand our pressure points. And reach out and don't be scared to get help. Don't be scared to look at positive influences on on YouTube, on other social media platforms. But at the same time, you got to remember where there's always positive, there's a negative that goes along with it. And energy, you know, and like my boy grown man business, business say, water seeks its own level. So understand that you have to seek your own level in life. You have to understand the world for what it is. Don't, you know, a lot of you guys <clears throat> are understanding, uh, you know, the nature of everything and being shocked over it. And it's unfortunately, you know, you have to learn this later in life sometimes about maybe female nature or male nature or anything or the culture of the society or how the government works and how taxes is maybe unfair or, or anything that you go through, child support laws, the marriage, the, the court system laws. But you have to accept the negative and do something about it. That's what it's all about. Crying and complaining and getting addicted to drugs to, to, to manifest your problems won't do nothing but make more problems. You have to understand that you're in control of your destiny and your mind and your life. And you have to put your mind to things and make it better. And I always said before in one of my videos, I always said this, a sensible man watches for problems and prepares to meet them. The fool never looks ahead. So when you're a sensible man, you understand that it's going to be negative things in your life and you deal with them when the adversity comes, but it's how you, what you do after that problem hit is how you react to moving forward and understanding the principles and what you stand for in the man. Because if you don't stand for something as a man, you will fall for anything. So remember, focus on your value, focus on yourself. Focus on your self-improvement. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, if there's no, is there no pain 
or no, if there's no promise in the situation, when you put promise in some situation, there will be pain. But if there's no pain, there's no promise. So think about what I just said. If there's no pain, there's no promise. If there's no sacrifice, there's no no reality of good results. That's basically what I'm saying. So if you want something in life, you know, like I always say before, guys, write it down. Put down your goals. You know, if you don't write down your goals, they're just dreams. You know, write down what you want to do to accomplish your goals and your dreams in life. And that's the only way I could, you know, put it for you guys. And that's the best way I can put it for you guys because at the end of the day, ne negative energy will always come. You just got to learn how to deal with it. You have to understand that, hey, that's part of my my barrier of life that I got to have, neg I'm gonna have a negative part that comes to me, but I'm going to have positive results that I, I choose to be in control of. Because if you, if you think negative, you'll be negative. And if you think down, you'll always be down. If every day is a struggle, every day ain't sunshines and rainbows, but you can change the outcome of your day by stacking up your lives, by stacking and attacking your lives, like I always tell you guys. And that's what you can do to change your life is to get, get more knowledge in you, understand your information, and what you know is power, power, mind, body, spirit, soul. With that being said, guys, Enjoy your holidays coming up. I might take a few weeks off. I'm going on vacation. But I'm going to push a couple more videos out there for you guys. Make sure you guys, if you need me, email me. DM me on my Instagram. Hit some comment sessions. You know, check the comment session out. And understand that at the end of the day, guys, it's you versus you. Put God first. Put yourself second. And understand that everybody else has to fall in line. Peace.